people to the building there, to the dashboard, so I can see the chat over here. Um, it should all kick in now. I just want to make sure it does kick in. I need to just bring up the web page. There, that's working. Okay. We have a live channel. We are here. Hello. And I'm going to be cooking in a minute. Wait for things to kick in. Making sure that it's working. Bell's just having a drink. Oh my balls. Hello Bertie. to be cooking in a few minutes we're going to be cooking some ramen so I think the first thing we're going to have to do this is just egg noodles to base it on yeah? to the right way. there ramen noodles let's turn the cooker on and start heating up some water because we will need that I am not a ramen professional or anything like that. This is once again, Bertie, you don't need to lick that bowl of barrels. You've licked that bowl like 12 times this morning. Nothing else is going to appear. I'm sorry. Yes, you're beautiful. <laughs> I just have what tastes nice to me. I follow my instincts. I'm recording this also for the YouTube channel with a long shot because I want to test out the best place to put the live camera. At the moment it's right over by the door. So we'll see how that works. Hello. Hello, Lucas. How are you today? How are you, Lucas? I'm just going to put some coconut oil in the frying pan. We're using mincemeat, the rest of my mincemeat from the chili yesterday. Because I want it to just be left. So a little bit of that in there. I do like coconut in my cooking work. So let's turn that on, not too high yet. Don't want to set anything burning. I haven't set the smoke alarm off for quite a while. <laughs> oh, you're wonderful. You just make sure you get a good sleep. The Twitch community and the Reddit community are absolutely amazing. They've been such a support and help to me. And they've given me the strength to do all this. Without you guys, I wouldn't be doing this. Without you guys, I probably wouldn't be around still. I mean, it is like that. Those that follow the stream and that know the history. Some people should be in bed at this time. It's okay for me. Right. So I'm going to slice up a couple of onions. I need something to throw the bits away in. I'm one of those people. Ooh, well yeah. <laughs> I'm one of those people who my eyes never water when I'm doing onions. It's one of those things that doesn't seem to affect me when I'm cutting these. Once again, I am doing these chunky. I do, I like chunky onions in my meals, but this is nothing to do with me. This is personal preference. So if you want it some way different, if you want to finely chop and fancily chop, go for it. It's your choice. But I 
just put them in my hand like so. Probably with as many health and safety things. But I don't care. But there uh, they can start sizzling away. The main reason I'm doing this meal is because I wanted to use up the rest of the I've got half pack of mushrooms, half a few string onions, and I just want to do it all at the same time and get it done. Use them up before they go back. Feel free to chat to me on the channel. I've got my little tablet set up on the counter. I'm going to turn that down quickly. Yeah. Now let's put the mushrooms, the basic button mushrooms, this stuff is mainly from Asda. No, they don't support me in any way, shape, or form. This is just saying where I got the stuff from. So I'm going to just, once again, mushrooms are just slicing them in half. I'm not going to be doing anything fancy. This is just, it's from the whole meal. So, mushrooms from there. Use the last of them. Try not to. Me and knives have an interesting past. I like knives and they like to cook me. <laughs> right, so, let's go throw this away and throw it in. Okay. See, one of the things I don't like in cooking programs is when they have an interim, when they have an advert break, when they have a chance to fix their mess. I think this kind of cooking where it's everything's wire and you see everything from different angles is a really good idea. Nothing's being hidden from you. If I mess up, then so be it. Because that's what cooking can be a wonderful thing. It doesn't have to be perfect. Trish is being naughty and not sending you the thing. Hello. Hello, both of you. Hello, everybody that's here. I only just started, but yeah. I'm basically just, I've done the, I've got the onions in. I'm going to now put the Ramen in here. I'll put that there. Ooh, we've got the steam. We've got the steam. The ramen will go in. I shall try not to make too much of a mess. No. No, it's the seasoning first. Oh, there we go. Oil there, yeah. Into there. I can see that. And a little bit of oil that they gave me. Oh, yeah. Come on. We need it. I am going to get that in there. I can't Let's just do the silly thing. This doesn't want to break. Let's get the proper thing. Scissors. Let's scissors. There. There. Noodles are cooking. We are having fun. Right, let's do a little bit of stir this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Now we need to add to that the spring onion. We should put the spring onion in. Why? Because I don't know. Because I think it's going to be nice. So we're going to just chop the top off. Don't need to put much herbs and spices in this because it's just from the ramen, actual package. 
it could be spoken in itself. Now I'm going to show that that's all fine, all this good. This is a very quick meal. We're now doing a one of the mixed peppers that came. It's a cute colour. I like this colour. Slice the top off it. I like it. You just slice the top off a pepper, I do. Slice the top off like that. Okay, it's way too cool, but I just put it so Turn the bar top, turn the bottom. You can just do this now. Get rid of all the seeds. Um, yes. Who's going there like that? We are live. We are. And then you just. Right, so we'll get rid of this, wash my hands, dirty, out there. I know you will, I'm not knocking the camera. This is what you do. something for food ready this is not something that's a specific thing this is you can put together a few items a few basic items that we've all got around the house and make it into something nice and it's an achievement for you I'm all about people achieving stuff and people doing stuff for themselves you can put any kind of vegetables in this you want it's personal and you've made something yourself Doing my thing, don't need to do it. Looks gorgeous, looks nice all right. I'm going to get rid of these bits of pieces, throw them away. Right. I'm just waving at the camera because I'm recording for YouTube as well. So I'm recording from a wide angle. See, that's why, yeah, 
I'd love to do an app and let people know how to do it. I don't go to the store at all. I order in from home for home delivery. But once you've got the basics in, a lot of my meals are completely tin and frozen based for the, just that specific reason. This isn't, but most of it is. And it just means that it's stored in your house. If you've got some spices in that pickle, it makes things so much easier. And I do love pizza. I do love takeout. And I have nothing against it. There's some gorgeous takeouts around here. But I am trying to eat better and I want to inspire people to cook because this is going to do two meals. And when I come down between streams at about between five and six, when I finish the stream later, I'll just come down and reheat the rest of this and have it for my tea as well as my lunch. Now, I was going to add both new potatoes and chickpeas, but I think I'm going to let the stream decide. Chickpeas or new potatoes? It's for the stream to decide. Chickpeas or new potatoes? Both will go well with the meal. So it doesn't matter which one is, just the first version the person to say. Peas. Okay, Lucas. Lucas Miller 19, we're going for the chickpeas. So the new potatoes can go away for another day. So I will open this one up and drain off the juice, and this can go in. So, right, in they go. Here out of the way. Hey yo. Right. See, once we're doing this properly, we're doing it properly now. But if once I've got a camera set up in the corner with a with a zoom in, I can actually remote control it so I can have it either follow me around the room, which would be awesome, or focus on something like this. That looks lovely. I'll turn the heat up once I've got this in there. And I think it's time. So we do this. Turn this one off. Once I don't go by the measurement of times or anything, I just do when it looks good to me, when it's instinctively looking. So we put that in there. This can go in the sink, ready to be washed. Yeah, I would add something flavour-wise to this, like spice in there, but like I say, they're quite strong, the actual sachets that you get with these ramen. You don't need anything extra in there to give it the taste, especially when you put onions and things. So I'm going to turn that up a little bit, get rid of a bit of the juice. And I think it's almost done. But of course, I'm not going to stop the stream yet. There's... Me and Paola both noticed there's a lot of crafting channels on YouTube and there's a lot of cooking channels where 90% of what you see is done off screen, where any mistakes are fixed off screen or in post edit. And it's why a lot of people try to follow these videos and never can. So one of the things I made sure and I promised to myself that I would never do that. Yeah, it would use to because this ca these cameras are just the setup until we can afford to set up the house twenty four seven. I have a camera in each room, in the corner. I also do tra they're still doing this kind of thing, 
but the main camera will be able to track. You know, it will be kind of professional. We will have professional. Yes, we will. Oh, okay. Now I'm going to turn this down. That's going to start sticking in a bit. The nice thing about one of these iron skillets, call it an iron spirit skillet, call it a frying pan, call it whatever you will. If you use something like a wooden spatula with it, you can feel when things are starting to stick to the bottom. You can react. It's very tactile to be able to do this. And know, you know how the bottom of the skillet feels, the bottom of the pan. So you can know when you're getting to that point when you need to turn it down. Cooking should all be about learning your own instinct over time, um, experience, making mistakes. Because I make mistakes, lots of mistakes when I was cooking in the past. But I've been cooking for like 21 years for someone who needed really good food inside them. We couldn't eat most of the time unless it was non-processed. Now this looks gorgeous, and it smells gorgeous. Let's taste it. Let's let's have a taste. I don't trust any cook that doesn't taste their own food while they're making it. Let's see, let's get a bit of that, a bit of that, and a mushroom. We want a mushroom as well. Yes. I try not to burn myself, so I'm going to take my time going on. Nice. That was really nice. And those packs of ramen are just about, I think, 50 pence from Asda where I get them. I know you can buy them in bulk. I used to get them from Amazon and buy a 20 pack of ramen. So, yeah, that's nice. That's lovely food. And all you do if you want to use the other two settings is cover in foil and let it rest until later and then heat it up in the microwave. Job's done. I just wanted to do a shout out to the people on Reddit and that. How amazing it was the community once again. You guys are great. And the people in my community. I've got a 3D printer as well upstairs. I've actually done a video on 3D printing. I should do a proper one though, 3D printing. We should actually do it as a project. Try and figure out what to use for the connector for it. Hmm. I like the, I like the idea of that. We can do it. We can do collaborations. Oh yes. This looking good. I can turn that down even more. That is like, I'm going to turn, actually turn this off now. There. That is gorgeous. It just is. Really nice. I'm pretty healthy actually, weirdly. It's actually not bad. It eats onions, peppers, chickpeas, mushrooms, a little bit of lean, cheap, meat in there and some ramen. Why not? And I'm going to be doing a stream at midday. I'm going to do Assassin's Creed Odyssey, pointy end towards enemies or stabbing all of the things. That should be fun. And is there any questions anybody's got before I finish this stream? Has there got anybody, anybody on channel want to actually ask me any questions? I am happy to answer any questions, food related or otherwise. See if anybody texts me, if anybody else. I like having this little tablet set up like this. It just means I can 
talk to people, see what people are saying here. Okay. Yes, I would accept ships for the stream because they're all probably going to end up blowing up anyway. <laughs> I am pretty awful when it comes to remembering. Remember, the first day I logged back into EVE, I went, I thought, oh, I'll just undock in one of my newbie characters and I'll go to one of these sites, combat sites, and just shoot at something to try and figure them out. And the second thing I shot was a yellow wreck. And Cold Cool came in and killed me instantly. <laughs> it was really hilarious. Where am I from? I am from the UK, Stoke on Trent, in the Midlands. That's where I am now. And that's where I've always lived. This is my hometown. I'm a Stokey. If you're wondering where that is, it's the place where all the pottery was made. Wedgwood's Royal Dalton. Ask your mother, she'll know about Red Wedgwood's or Royal Dalton and things like that. So I was part of the pottery industry as well. I worked in a pottery firm at one time. I can tell you stories about that. I can fly caps. My main character can fly anything below a Titan. I want to fly a Titan at some point. I want to fly a supercarrier at some point in time in the future and lose it hilariously. That's what I want to do. They're the only two ships in the entire game that I haven't flown. My favourite ship is a Dictor, a Sabre. That's what I used to do mainly when I was in fleets. I was the Sabre pilot that was just hide like 200 kilometres away from the battle, ready to jump in if someone tried to run away. Oh, Moros! Oh my god! My main's name is Quebe. Same as this channel. Q U E B B E R. Quebe is my main character. But yeah, I would love to jump into a Moros and fire at things and blow things up and get blown up. I could actually put the plex that I'm going to do on the on the second the thing we're going to do on the second. I could actually put the plex inside the hole of the Moros and undock in that. That would be cool. So yeah, I can use all of the guns for the Moros and everything. I'm even trained for the siege module and stuff like that. Because I had to use BTACOR. I was in the big battle there and everything. I've done all the big things. Oh yes, this is gorgeous. I'm just going to steer it up a bit so I can stick to the bottom with the last of the heat. Oh, that was me wonder. I'll log on later today and accept that contract. That is wonderful. For those that don't know, EVE is a wonderful game about ships, but it is very punishing and it can be very hard to play. It's a very challenging game. Some people call it spreadsheets in space because there's lots of numbers. And even though it's absolutely a beautiful game, most people view it when they're in space from zoomed out so far that you can't see any of the ships except for little dots. But no, Amoros is a very nice dreadnought. I love the Amoros. And I'm going to go out and... I will not mine with it. <laughs> when we'll do it on stream. Thank you, Lucas. Oh, yay. I'm going to have fun with that. No, I'm not retired. Last November, my wife died. She had been ill for 21 years and I looked after her. I was her primary carer. When she died, I lost everything and had no reason to live. And then this happened, the community, Twitch. And I started to stream my life. I do gameplay videos. I do cooking videos. I connect to people through this. I, I can't leave the house because I've got PTSD 
we have to depression and it got ADHD and I'm somewhere on the autistic scale higher functioning that along with the grief of losing my best friend in the world my wife have pretty much wrecked me but I do this and I connect with the community on YouTube and on Twitch that's who I am so thank you for that question if there's anything else anybody wants to ask we are live and if I will only vlog off here when everybody's asked other questions and then I will eat because that, that, that food there is yummy it looks really nice it smells really nice as well Okay, so thank you for coming. If you've got any other questions, ask a question. Ask a question if you want. I don't mind. My favorite food, ooh. I would say a really nice bun. Say something, bake some bread yourself, then fry it on something like this. Then get a nice little pork joint and cook it, slow cook it until, until it's pulled pork, basically falling apart. Roast up some onions and some mushrooms and some gravy. Get the gravy in there and then have that on that bap or on that roll. That is pretty much to die for for me. Nice questions coming in. I love being connected to a stream and having interaction like this. So what time are we now? We're fine, we've got loads of time. Ooh, I'd have to train up the rest. The, no, Nix, Nix. Nix is the Galante super carrier, isn't it? I think my main character is level five in training for it. I think I can fly the Nix. Yeah, I think I am because I started training because that's what I was going to go into a Nix. Oh yes, that would be ridiculous. That would be absolutely ridiculous to be in one of those. It's one of my dreams for Eve is to fly around in, <laughs> in something like that. Wow, it's amazing. So I'll log on once I've eaten onto Eve and accept that contract and I will just check my skills but I'm pretty sure that, the, that my prime character has all those abilities it's in the middle of is it my my character is in the middle of zero zero in a station that used to be owned by the people I was with <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go now I'm gonna go and eat Thank you for coming to the stream. Thank you for giving me questions. I will be back on in about an hour's time to do a gameplay stream. <coughs> <coughs> yes, doggies. Walk for. Bye bye till then. I'll talk to you later. Lucas. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye.